Hello, I'm Princess Serena, not Princess Serena, and today we are currently lacking pins in my background because we're at school, but we'll go back to our regularly scheduled pin programming with my backdrop in next week, but I am wearing the right color. This is the same color as my wall <laughs> at home. Um, we're at school right now, and we are about to get into a QA. and a I am very excited that the community tab appeared on my channel the other day. Um, it used to be that you had to have 500 subscribers for it to come so i feel a little bit premature in getting it but we're almost there and who knows maybe we'll celebrate in a big way maybe we sort of kind of already have a giveaway planned we'll have to see we'll have to get a little closer to that number before we disclose those details so if you haven't already subscribe you know what are you waiting for but for now we are going to answer some questions from that tab as well as on my instagram and there's a wide assortment so i divided them into categories so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I figured it'd be the most appropriate to start with the pin related questions. And if I'm looking off to the side, it's just because I have the questions here. So the first one is, how did you get into Disney pins? And what would you do differently if you could start all over again? I really like the second half of that question. Very interesting. Okay, so how did I get into Disney pins? It is super random. So I was already into pins because of Build-A-Bear question mark. Um, so some of the Build-A-Bears, they came with pins. So I already was intrigued about pins and liked them. And then I went to Disney World in 2010 and then I saw a whole wall of pins. And, and that was the end for me. Um, but I didn't fully get into like the pin, like the Disney pin obsession until 2019. So I feel like it's a two part answer. Um, but I did fully get into getting travel pins, as I like to call it, kind of everywhere I went. I fell into a YouTube rabbit hole, essentially, <laughs> in the uh, beginning of 2019, end of 2018. Um, nothing to do with pins, just Disney. And then I came across a video about Disney pins in someone's collection and then I just watched all of them on the internet ever and here we are. <laughs> and as for the second question, one thing I would do if I could go back in time is just start the Disney pin game sooner. Somehow, some way, I could get some of these really hard to find Disney Channel pins. I feel like that's the only thing. I feel like, oh, I wish I could go back. And then also just pins not being super inflated in the price. It's like the Wally Marquee, like it goes for over a thousand USD right now and like there's no way I'm getting that, but it is a really pretty pin and I would love it. But like, you know, back in the day I could have gotten some of these pins <laughs> for like probably $15, you know? The next question is, hi Serena, what is your favorite pin you currently own and how did you obtain it? This is the hardest question of my life. I always do like my friends and my family's top five favorite pins in my collection and I've always in the back of my mind knew I needed to do my top five but I just I, I couldn't even sit myself down to pick five let alone one so I'm just uh, gonna go off of one in recent memory that like I'm obsessed with currently um is this pin I actually didn't open on the channel yet um but I'll show you you know reward you for watching a non-pin related video um and you'll see it a while away from now, you're like, oh my gosh, how far back is she going? I do not film in order. It depends when I'm home and when I want a certain video to come out. It's this Wally pin. I'll insert a photo here. Oh my God, it is my first 3D pin ever, ever, ever. I'm not gonna go on and on because I do in that video. It is incredible. It's just so detailed and the Easter eggs in it as well. Like you can see Rex, you can see like all the little things from the movie and it's definitely just what comes to my mind that is like my favorite at the moment. But if I really analyze my pins, I'm sure I wouldn't be able to say like, this is my definitive favorite, but for now, don't hold me to it, but for now, I think this one is my favorite. I got it on Instagram from Zach's Pin Adventures pre-sale. He's the one that made that giant 12 inch long Pixar pin, if you've seen that jumbo pin floating around. And the last pin related question, is I saw that Harry Styles was in your Spotify wrapped. He's my favorite. I promise this is pin related. <laughs> I've got a whole pin collection dedicated to him. Do you have any pins of him? I love your videos. Thank you. I love Harry Styles. He's definitely my favorite male artist, I would say, um, especially his second and third album. Like, oh my God, so good. 
Um, but yeah, I saw there were pins not only just themed to him and like the album in general, but like certain songs. Like I saw there was a cinema pin. I was this close to buying it. And this question may be the thing that pushes me over the edge to get like a couple Harry Styles pins of like my favorite songs because cinema is my favorite Harry Styles song. I would love to know in the comments what your favorite Harry Styles song is. I could talk about my favorite artists all day, but Long story short, I do not have a collection and I would love to see yours. If you have Instagram, please, please, please DM me a photo of that. Like I haven't seen like full collections of these pins before. So moving on to the Disney related questions. Um, do you have a favorite Japanese character? Okay, I'm back confirmed right here that Edna Mode is half Japanese. So I'm gonna go with her. I'm sure there's tons more that I love. I just can't think of anyone on top of my head. I did not plan the answers to these questions, um, but I feel like we need an Incredibles spin-off sequel kind of vibe following Edna Mode, but it cannot be a prequel because I don't look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Like one of my favorite quotes, I feel like from a movie. It's like played off in the snarky, sassy kind of vibe, but honestly it is so deep and like, so true and i live my life like that like you know you could look back a bit you know reminisce but like you know focus on the now not the future not the then not the later the now darling the now um her energy is just so infectious and her attitude and i love it and i will live and die on this statement we need more edna mode material disney plus get on the series i feel like it won't even be a movie like they're making lots of different series like do it right now um okay Next question, Cece or Rocky from Shake It Up? Okay, so this was the first show where I feel like it was the, like it divided my childhood and then kind of passed it. Like I'd say Good Luck Charlie was the last show that defined my childhood like within Disney Channel. And I didn't feel the same Disney Channel magic as its predecessors, but I did watch the show. That being said, I think I would say Cece, honestly, like Rocky, just like being a know-it-all and like being a naturally good dancer and like being, you know, super smart. And like, I feel like she's a little too hard on Cece sometimes. Not that Cece was an angel either. Look, I barely remember the dynamics, but I feel like I liked Cece better. I could totally be wrong, but that that is my answer. Okay, next. What's your ultimate top fave Disney or Pixar character? Okay, this one I don't even have to think on like the last question. It should come to no surprise. It is Wally. And I know your favorite character doesn't have to come from your favorite Disney movie. But for me, honestly, what makes that my favorite movie, a lot of it is Wally himself. He is so selfless, but like not to the point where he's you know sacrificing his own happiness like you know he has to do his task and he has to you know get all the junk and whatever but he finds the little things that he likes and he keeps it for himself and he enjoys and he takes pride in his little collection like i do with my little pretties and my little pin collection little it's not that little serena <laughs> but um yeah and then he you know takes pride in enjoying his material thing sure and he puts meaning to it but he like also gives everything he has to building like real connections with well in this the case not people but robots but Eve and getting excited over things and like practicing little bit like him holding his own hand like he's so pure putting himself out there but not too much like he still values himself while valuing others and you don't have to choose and yeah basically I love Wally <laughs> hold on I talked so long my laptop just like <laughs> went black okay next question fave Disney treat. So if you would have asked me this prior to my last Disney trip, I would have easily said the Mickey ice cream bars. But now we're getting a little more exquisite in the taste. So I'm going to say I wish I remembered the specific kind of crepe it was. I know it was one of the dessert crepes, um, not the breakfast one because I did have both. It was at the crepe place in Epcot at the France Pavilion. It was so good. It was like one of the best things I had there. And that's saying something because like Disney food is so good. What Walt Disney World Resort do you want to most stay at? Okay, so I gotta be 
honest i'm not super familiar with all of the resorts i know what they're all called but i don't know the overall vibe of them all um i feel like i'm a di i'm like a pin i wouldn't say expert but like more than a you know an amateur but in terms of like disney and like knowing you know all of the rides and all of the things to do and and the resort so i'm an amateur in that sense i'm a baby i mean i've only stayed on property once i popped entry and i feel like water i feel like more relaxed themes yet relaxed because i feel like like disney is over the top and go 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 so it'd be nice to kind of chill especially if you had time like if you had if you were staying in Orlando for two weeks and not one and then you had more time not at the park like I would love to have like a chill yet still magical experience and definitely with water um so yeah I will let you know what I think aligns with that vision the most right here the Polynesian resort definitely takes the cake for me and I actually just watched a room tour of the bungalows as well and I am hyped this is on my list now and it's gonna happen one day Walt Disney restaurant you would want to try and once again I don't have a clear answer but actually I don't know all my options but just on top of my head I would love to do a Disney character dining experience I love food don't get me wrong but for me it's more I guess the experience like if I'm already going to Disney you know like if something you know is a little less good quality food, like it's still good but it's like the ambiance is like Disney you know like I'll take that over like the 10 out of 10 exceptional thing at home no I, I go for the food and not for the atmosphere for sure but if I'm on vacation and there's this huge spectacular experience like I'll do it you know uh, so yeah, I would love to do a character dining thing like in the castle like I've seen videos and it looks so magical and I would love to do that. If you weren't a Disney YouTuber, what kind of channel would you have? It would most definitely be kind of like mid to late 2000s, early 2010s kind of nostalgia stuff like like talking about music from then, movies, TV shows, and like celeb drama and like pop culture moments and stuff like that. And I watch some channels that kind of dive into that stuff and I find it very fascinating. And because I have a huge background as if it's like a degree, <laughs> I, I definitely was into all that stuff, you know, and I'm very familiar, like not so much with the stuff today, but like just in the past, like I'd say till maybe 2013-ish and like starting maybe 2000. And six i feel like i was very immersed in that world and you know all those teen magazines and all that stuff like m bop tiger beat i had them all <laughs> and all the posters like you couldn't even see the color of my room wonder who this question's from who's your favorite guest on the channel <laughs> well i've only well actually that's not true i've had my mom on a couple times and my dad on a couple times but like in terms of like really reoccurring i mean obviously sophia has been on it all the time thanks for the question <laughs> but honestly i haven't had all of my friends and family especially friends that i like want to have on this channel but a ton that have yet to make their debut and i'm really excited but because sophia was the candidate for like most likely to get into pins herself and now you've seen that has come into fruition I'm such a proud pin mom so she's always fun and I love all my friends energy is all different but I feel like in terms of pins and YouTube and energy here in this space she is my favorite and she will forever be on my channel and she's definitely gonna make appearances this summer I have some fun things planned so get excited a little teaser there all right so everything else you know it's not like Disney pins or YouTube okay so unironically, this question actually made me laugh. This is the first question I received. Why are you so funny? I mean, I'm honored. Honestly, I don't try to be funny. And I feel like that's what it is. Like people that are like, try. Like obviously I make stupid puns. I'm like, like obviously I know they're stupid jokes but they're not actually funny. I'm just having fun. But like, I don't know, just certain comments come to me. I don't know. But everyone's brain works differently, I feel. And you associate different things with different reactions and different comments and different experiences. And I feel like, I guess all of that you know, mixed up in my brain makes me funny sometimes. I don't know, you said it, not me. It's not really an answer, I apologize, but that's my stance on that. Okay, <laughs> switching it off completely. <laughs> What's a bucket list trip you'd like to go on? Okay, 
So I, I know this is the most basic answer in the world, but I would love to go to Europe and just not backpack because like I definitely wouldn't want to stay at hotels and have a suitcase, but like still be minimal in what I bring, of course. But I would love to kind of just go around for like a month or something or three weeks. Like that would be so cool. And like I loved like I've been to Europe once. I've talked about it sometimes on this channel. I went to Italy and there was tons of pins there, actually. Um, wish I was a YouTuber. I would have taken y'all with me. But um, yeah, I would love to explore Europe more. The culture is so different. The atmosphere is so different. And it's just such a breath of fresh air, you know, like because I live in Toronto and it's like the most Americanized Canadian city I would say so and like of course I go to the states all the time and obviously there's little gems everywhere and everything is like every place is unique and has its things but I would love to explore Europe more and I would love to go back to Italy too and have that be a part of it that is my bucket list trip for now if you could live anywhere for a year where would you choose Okay, so I have a no definitive answer in my mind, but for some reason, Switzerland comes to my head because I heard and I've seen, you know, the quality life and like the work life balance and like is just so good in comparison to like North America. And I would, it'd be interesting. Also, it's gorgeous and I love the mountains. I love skiing and all of that. So I feel like it's definitely a perfect fit. And I'd have to obviously do research and stuff. I mean, I'd love to to visit there of course too um but i think i don't know i feel like for some reason that would be a good place to live for a year do you have any other collections which we wouldn't know about from watching your channel that's such an intriguing question and i really wish i could come out here and be like oh yeah i have this double life i'm also this kind of collector not just pins it's like a full polar opposite thing but like i don't unfortunately the only thing I could think of is like I collect, I guess, all of the theater tickets that I get, like of all the plays that I've been to. It's not so much a collection, but just like a memorabilia type of thing. I mean, I have some Ariana Grande vinyls on the other side of my wall, which I've shown once, I believe, on this channel. But I wouldn't say I collect vinyls either. Like it just for like aesthetic purposes and I'm just doing Ariana Grande ones. Um... Although I do have a Harry Styles one, throwing it back to the one of the first questions there. I do have a fine line one, like the exclusive black and white splattered paint one. And yeah, I love the colorful ones. It's They're really beautiful to display. But I feel like it's kind of good, I guess, that I'm focused on like pins and like certain types of pins too. Like it makes it more satisfying and it's gonna be a collection I have for life. And my last question is, as a child, what did you want to do when you grew up? So... I wanted to be an actress. I feel like I'm living the life vicariously through being on the camera. Um, I didn't, I never tried, like I never went to school for it. I almost did, but then I didn't. Um, I don't know, I just loved it. Over dramatic as a child, still I am now. And I took drama all through high school. Three of the years I got like best in the drama class and I got a little award, it was cute. Um, in two different provinces actually, cause I moved, it's very exciting. Um, but yeah i don't i feel like i bring the dramatics i guess in my everyday life and just how i carry myself too and i do miss it it's fun but i don't know i just didn't go for it i don't regret it i really like where i am and the path i'm on in terms of career right now but yeah i mean it's something you know i feel like i could fulfill my like little childhood dream one day and just audition for something yeah it's not like a priority for me um but yeah, that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. I feel like we're not surprised here. <laughs> yeah, that's it for my questions. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for asking me such riveting questions. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more pin related content from me. If you didn't get a chance to ask me anything and you wanted to leave them, down in the comments below and i'll definitely save them for a future video maybe next year maybe the end of the year i don't know we'll see because i do have plans i don't know how i've been pumping up the videos like i'm not out here four hours away from my house doing a master's program like i i don't know i'm beyond words and i'm keeping up the momentum because i have some plans like i said i'm not going to disney i don't want to hype that up <laughs> 
I'm not going to Disney this summer, but I have some cute little fun adventures in store. So I'm excited to experience those and take y'all with me and it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm actually not taking a Tuesday gap, like in the cycle of two videos a gap. If you haven't noticed, that's been the vibe lately, just to keep it sustainable because I'm not always home to film and such. But because of this q and filled in the gap well, that it would have been like princessless, you know, very sad. Um, so yeah, I have a couple videos ahead and yeah, we'll keep it going into the summer and I'm really excited for the future of this channel and thank y'all again for sticking by me. I feel like anyone watching a Q&A is here for me and not just like, ooh, pin mail, you know? So <laughs> I appreciate y'all, um, the five of you watching. No, <laughs> um, yeah, it's so much fun and it makes me happy. I'm definitely watching my Tuesday videos with you because like I film them like in advance sometimes and it just makes me happy engaging with the comments like after school an eight hour a day um, on Tuesdays. So I'm glad I picked Tuesdays uh, once upon a time ago, you know, um, perfect because it is not the most fun day <laughs> at school. Um, but yeah, as always, take care of yourselves and have a magical day. Bye.